What's up, you guys? Uh, so I got a question today that I'm gonna answer, and it basically is, let me bring it up. He says, hi, Lloyd, long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> Not really calling, but uh, I'll take it. Um, could you cover the issue of validation or seeking a girl's approval? I get caught up in this all the time. I want girls to respond to my messages or show that they like me, even if I'm not that into them. Once they show interest, I usually lose interest. I was in therapy for a few years and I still slip into this mentality. Do you have any suggestions for how to move past it? It interferes with my ability to make a real connection with women. Yeah, dude. Um, I can definitely answer this question. This is something I talk a lot about with my students and actually something that I'm doing right now with a current program that I have with a lot of different guys. So uh, let's get into this. I'll give you a brief rundown of what I usually recommend that they do. So let's describe the problem and why it happens. And then I'm going to talk about solutions to this problem because this is like this is not just like common this is the norm for most men okay most men have super validation and approval seeking behaviors specifically towards women and there's a reason for this because if you think about the way most men grow up in today in today's day and age they're not raised by men they're raised by women um, typically you have your mother who spends the majority of her of their time raising you um, you know a lot of guys don't see their fathers that much but even if you do see your father you are probably going to school and most schools they are primarily taught by women in fact me in my own personal life i don't think i had a male te i had one male teacher up until the age of 15. Um, and the rest of the time it was women it was me getting in trouble with women it was me seeking the approval of women trying to get a good grade trying to not get in trouble asking raising my hand to go to the bathroom and while this is good for you know maybe behaving or having manners or you know not getting in trouble it is horrible for making a connection with a woman and actually being a man it doesn't make you attractive it doesn't make you into the person that you need to be and it doesn't actually make you successful like this is what a lot of you know, it's kind of ironic because they tell you to go to school to be successful and you can be a certain level of success uh, there. But if you want to be really successful, you have to undo a lot of the damage that this training does to you. This is... Uh, so you have this problem with where you're ex you're seeking approval from women um, and you're seeking approval from other people so now that we've described the problem how do you actually solve it okay the way that you solve it and a lot of people say well just stop caring about what other people think you know <laughs> Like it's a switch that you can turn off. Um, that's not what I'm saying. That that, that advice I, I think is a little not helpful. Um, what you should do, and we are human, and so we all care about somebody's opinion. You should care about somebody's opinion. You know whose opinion I care about? My own. That's the number one thing that I care about. Put yourself first. I say this again and again. That's how a high value mind thinks. He puts himself above other people. So what does that mean? That means you need to figure out what you need to do to look at yourself in the mirror and actually like the person that's staring back at you, that actually believes in yourself. Okay, you approve of what you're doing, of your life, who you are, and it doesn't mean that you need to be at the goal that you're heading towards. It doesn't mean that you need to have, I don't know, whatever your life goals are, be rich, get tons of pussy, like have a supermodel girlfriend or whatever it is. You don't have to have that to actually approve of yourself. But think about your, think about people when they've uh, built themselves up. You know, even the most successful people of all time, okay, they approved of themselves, or at least in a certain way, they believed in themselves even when they didn't have all the money or the success or the, success or the fame that they had uh, later on, okay? So you need to learn to start approving of yourself right now. And there are exercises to be able to do this. Figure out what it's going to take to basically approve of yourself, to, to like yourself, to look yourself in the eye and say, hey, you know what, you're doing great, keep on, keep doing it. You know, times are tough, but it's fine. You'll get through it, you got this, okay? And maybe you're looking at external things for approval for your for your own approval maybe in order to feel good about yourself you need to have a hot girlfriend okay well think about this what about having a hot girlfriend is actually going to make you approve of yourself maybe it's you're being popular at school maybe it's to get sex with a hot with a hot girl or you just get sex maybe it's uh, you look cool around other guys and other guys envy you are there other ways that you can get that in your life 
honestly. Like this is an, and this is something that you you mentioned in this question. I don't I don't know if this guy's actually watching the video, but you mentioned that you've seen therapists over this. I don't think therapists will discuss this, these kinds of things for you. That it's so internal and it's so like not practical with uh, what I've seen a lot of therapists do. So what you need to do is you need to ask yourself those questions. This is exactly the thing that I cover in my High Value Mind program. So I walk with the students, I t ask them, like, hey, what is it going to take to make you like yourself, to approve of yourself? You ask yourself why a bunch of times. You do a bunch of the exercises that we cover, and over the course of eight weeks, you will learn what it's actually going to take. And at, at the end of the eight weeks, which by the way, this is not something that, um, having a high value mind and, and not seeking validation from other people, what it's going to do to you and like let's let's give the example of uh the guy who will, will only approve of himself if he has like a really hot girl okay if he can get the other things that he would get with a hot girl maybe he's getting sex maybe he's getting he has a life that other other men would might envy I mean, he's good at something whatever it is okay what about that is actually going to make him like himself and if he has those things, what's going to happen, and this is the craziest part right here, the women will, like, they'll appear. They'll, like, come to you. This is when women start to chase other men. If men are not seeking their validation and approval, they will start chasing. You have that lifestyle. You have that, uh, that mindset that they're looking for. And so what you'll start to realize is that you don't need to have the validation in the first place. Get your own approval and then women will seek your validation. And that's exactly what we teach in this program. So I gave you a little bit of a snippet. So if you're interested in joining the program, there's gonna be a link in the description box below. I recommend you click it, fill out the form. Would love to get you in. But if you're not going to do that, start asking yourself those questions. Start asking yourself, hey, you know, what would it actually take to get my approval? Stop looking for other people's and look for your own. Okay, because not seeking anyone's approval in life is completely unreasonable. But seeking your own, that's definitely possible. And that's the way to do it. You gotta ask yourself some tough questions. It's gonna be, this is hard. This is not easy. If it was easy, I wouldn't have a job. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. If you may, consider subscribing. Come out with videos like this every single week. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.